ओके सो फर्स्ट विल बी डूइंग द कोर्स ऑफ द रेडियल नर्व इन द एंटायर अपर लिम तो इट टेक्स ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द पोस्टीजर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेकल प्लेक्सेस द रूट वैल्यू विल बी सी फाइव सी सिक्स सी सेवन सी एट एंड टी वन फ्रॉम देयर इट गोज टू द एक्जिला इन एक्जिला इट गिव्स थ्री ब्रांचेस टू द लॉन्ग हेड ऑफ द ट्राइसेप्स टू द हिडियल हेड ऑफ द ट्राइसेप्स एंड द पोस्टीरियर क्यूटेनियस नर्व ऑफ द आर्म सो फ्रॉम द शोल्डर एंड टिल द एल्बो द पोस्टीरियर क्यूटेनियस नर्व ऑफ द आर्म सेकेंड then it goes down 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 between the two heads that is the long head and the medial head of the triceps goes and goes and goes reaches the spiral groove of the arm in the spiral groove it gives again three branches one to the lateral head and the anconius lateral head of the triceps and anconius next branch is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm so from the elbow to the wrist and third is the lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm theek okay? hai motor was to lateral head and sensory was posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm and lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm then it goes 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 pierces the lateral intermuscular septum and comes to the anterior compartment when it comes to the anterior compartment it lies near the lateral epicondyle from the lateral epicondyle it gives again three branches one to the extensors of the forearm first extensor was brachioradialis extensor capi radialis longus so these two receives the direct branch from the radial nerve and brachialis which was the uh, muscle of the arm only that also receives from radial nerve so brachialis was a uh, hybrid muscle it receives both from radial nerve as well as muscular cutaneous nerve which is the nerve of the arm ठीक है एंड देन फ्रॉम लैटरल प्रिकोडाइल इट गिव टू ब्रेकियालिस ब्रेक्यूरेडियालिस एंड एक्सेंसर कैपरेडियालिस लॉन्गस टू एक्सेंसर्स एंड वन मसल ऑफ दिया फ्रॉम देयर इट डिवाइड्स इनटू सुपरफिशियल एंड डीप ब्रांचेस सुपरफिशियल रेडियल नर्व की ब्रांचेस कॉल्ड सुपरफिशियल रेडियल नर्व एंड डीप ब्रांचेस कॉल्ड पोस्टीरियर इंटरोशियस नर्व तो सुपीरियर गोस टू द एनाटॉमिकल स्नफ बॉक्स एनाटॉमिकल स्नफ बॉक्स की बाउंड्रीज आर अब डॉक्टर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गस एक्सटेंसर पॉलिसिस ब्रेविस एंड एक्सटेंसर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गस तो यहाँ यहाँ पे जाता है एंड टर्मिनेट्स दर टर्मिनेट्स बाय सप्लाइंग द लैटरल थ्री एंड अ हाफ डिजिट्स ऑफ द डॉर्सम ऑफ द हैंड एक्सेप्ट द नेल बेड्स सो दिस 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 एंड इसका हाफ अपटिल हेयर नॉट द नेल बेड्स ठीक है अपटिल हेयर द एंटायर डॉर्सम का थ्री लैटरल थ्री एंड हाफ इंच सप्लाइड बाय रेडियल नर्व and the deep branch deep branch goes 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 supplies the extensors of the forearm superficial as well as deep okay so now we'll be doing the course of ulnar nerve in the entire upper limb ulnar nerve arises from the medial cord of the brachial plexus so its root value will be c8 and t1 it arises from the medial cord and goes in the axilla no branch its the relation is it lies medial to the axillary artery in the arm no branch it lies medial to the brachial artery then it goes 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 pierces the medial intermuscular septum reaches the posterior compartment of the arm near the ep- medial epicondyle it lies between two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris here it gives four branches one to flexor carpi ulnaris one to medial half of flexor digitorum profundus and two cutaneous branches one is palmar cutaneous branch to hypothenar muscles one dorsal cutaneous branch to medial one and a half fingers dorsum of medial one and a half fingers including the nail beds okay so which four branches it gave at the level of medial epicondyle one to flexor carpi ulnaris one to medial half the flexor digitorum profundus then palmar inter uh, palmar cutaneous and dorsal cutaneous palmar cutaneous to hypothenar and dorsal cutaneous to medial one and a half fingers including the nail beds okay now it descends in the forearm when it reaches the um, wrist it gives superficial and deep the radial nerve was dividing at the level of lateral epicondyle into superficial and deep but here ulnar nerve divides at the level of wrist in a superficial and deep the superficial branch goes and supplies the palmaris brevis and medial one and a half digits of the palmar aspect okay so dorsal was supplied by the branch from medial epicondyle only but now the palmar is supplied medial one and a half is supplied by superficial branch of the ulnar nerve superficial branch of the ulnar nerve supplies the medial one and a half digits of the palmar aspect of the hand and palmar is brevis muscle then the deep branch the deep branch goes 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 and it supplies all the intrinsic muscles of the hand except two lateral lumbricals and thina muscles 
so the deep branch goes and it supplies all the intrinsic muscles of the hand the hypothena ke all the three then the medial two lumbricals then the palmar interosseous dorsal interosseous except the lateral two lumbricals as well as thenar muscles okay so there are 20 intrinsic muscles in the hand except five it supplies all the 15 muscles of the hand done So the course of the medial nerve. The medial nerve arises from lateral root of uh, brachial vessels as well as the medial root. So its root value is C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. It arises from lateral to the medial roots. It goes into the axilla. In axilla, it is lying lateral to the axillary artery. It goes into the arm. It crosses the brachial artery from lateral to medial, such that it's the medial most structure in the cubital fossa. You know, the cubital fossa uh, contains our MBBS. So M is the medial nerve that is most medial. Then is the brachial artery. So it travels from lateral to the medial side. In the cubital fossa. It gives branches to all the flexors of the forearm, all the superficial flexors. So, what are they? Flexor carpi radialis, um, maris longus, flexor deltorum superficialis, except flexor carpi ulnaris, because flexor carpi ulnaris was supplied by ulnar nerve and not median nerve and pronator teres. So, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, as in flexor deltorum superficialis, except flexor carpi ulnaris. Now it goes into the forearm, just five centimeter before the flexor retinacular. It gives a palmar cutaneous branch to the thenar eminence. Now it goes deep to the flexor retinacular and it divides into medial and lateral branches. The medial branch gives one recurrent branch to all the thenar muscles, so it supplies more supply to all the thenar muscles, and it gives three palmar digital branches. The lateral branch also gives two palmar digital branches. So all these five digital branches, what's their role? Their role is they supply medial three and a half digits palmar side along with nail beds and along with nail beds of the dorsum as well as first and second lumbricals. So the main supply of the median nerve was the motor supply was thenar group and two lumbricals. The sensory supply was lateral three and a half digits, the palmar side, and the distal phalanx, the nail beds, lateral three and a half. Done.